So we're going to assume this guy's going to maximize profits. Okay? Why do they max why does why does the firm maximize profits? Why is that a reasonable assumption? Or maybe it's not. Gary Becker often would say it wasn't a reasonable assumption. I actually think it is a much I think it's for many problems a very reasonable assumption. Why in our context would we want to maximize profits? Yeah. Right, that is, that is, if I own the firm, I want to maximize utility. But if the way I get utility is spend the profits, then I'm better off if I have more profits. And we would all agree, no matter who owns it, they all want to have more money to spend. Now, if you tell me I care about other things about how the firm operates, like I enjoy having lots of capital or I enjoy other things, well, then that model's not a good model. It, it, it may be missing out on important things, but it may be a good first approximation to assume that the guy doesn't care about those things. What he cares about is how much money he ends up with. What is profit? It's just revenue minus cost. Right? That's what we mean by profit, because that's what you get to take home with you at the end of the day. So, yeah. Well, no, he's not saying it's not a good idea. He's not telling people they shouldn't maximize profits. He's done. He's in many problems said, well, owners of firms may care about other things, like who they hire, how famous they are. Like if I want to, and I think it really depends on the problem you have at hand. If I wanted to understand the implications of a corporate income tax, probably I would focus mostly on profit maximization. If I wanted to understand owners in the National Basketball Association, that's probably not exactly the right model because the owners often want to win. They're not just about ending up at the season with the most money. They also enjoy winning. They're very rich people who consume. They also might enjoy interacting with certain players or other things like that. Right? So... Now, if you want to study discrimination, you might think that maybe owners care about the employees that they hire. They dislike hiring some employees relative to others, and that was, you know, Gary's dissertation was about that. So he sort of deviated from the profit maximization, pure profit maximization. He said, well, I got to go back to the utility maximizing problem that says maybe I care about profits, but maybe I care about other things too. I never heard Gary say people didn't care about profits. He just often would say they care about profits, but maybe they care about some other things as well. I think if you told him you got to ignore everything but one variable, he would have come back and said, I'll focus on profits. So I think he wouldn't disagree that that would have been the first thing he listed in his utility function for the owners. But he maybe wouldn't stop there. I think that's a fair way to put it. Okay? All right. Then they might be a conflict. Yeah, that's why sometimes you get battles over ownership, right? So, for example, like founders of firms, uh, sometimes they get thrown out because they they want to. They, they don't necessarily want to do what maximizes profits. It was their company. They started it. They want to see it stick around and maybe stay in the industry they started in, even if it's no longer profitable to stay in that industry. And, you know, and if they got billions of dollars because they were very successful in the past, they may be willing to spend a fair amount. The problem is if they only own part of the company, they're probably spending other people's money at the same time, and that creates a conflict, right? So... No, that's a real-world situation that comes up is conflict between the multiple owners. And, you know, Founders is a good example about that. I mean, people have studied this. I mean, I think some people have found that some firms go up in value when the founder dies. Some firms go down in value when the founder dies. Just depends. I mean, is he, is he like, 
a super talented person who's the reason why the firm's so valuable, or is he really a, a dead weight? That's that's. <laughs> it's not unreasonable to have the you know a sudden death of the founder actually cause the firm to go up in value because people realize they're no longer going to do these things that were good from his point of view, even though they weren't good from a shareholder point of view. So you know, that's where you'd have to deviate. But I think most economics focuses on profit maximization is really the, that's really the, the model that we get the most mileage from. And that's what we're going to do most of the time. Okay? So, so revenue is PY and cost is just the sum of the XI, WI, I equals one to N, right? That, that's, that's my, profit maximization, that implies I'm going to max PF of X1 up to Xn minus sum of the WI XI. Okay? I 